everybody, boys. So we got our walkie-talkies charged up. Let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up and do our first shake test. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to continue working on our apocalypse right here. And as you can tell, we are making some massive progress on the interior and the exterior. And although we are getting closer to the finished product, we still got a good bit to go. And as you can see here, we do got a long list of things to do. And the very first thing that we're going to start with is actually running to the store and picking up our new tabletop right here that's going to match this countertop. It's going to look really good. We did purchase one, but it was a little bit too short, so we will have to exchange it. And while we're out there, we are going to pick up a bunch of other supplies as well. That way we can just keep going with this interior. So let's just hit the road and head that way. All right, so we made it here to the Home Depot. We got our little tabletop and we got that little cabinet thing, but we had to stop at the As Seen on TV stuff over here because they got some pretty neat stuff sometimes. Dude, they got all sorts of gadgets. Look at this handy bright, a nose trimmer, a dang neck brace. Well, check this out, a tack amplifier, dude. You can probably what? hear somebody a mile away. You might have to cop that right there. Dude, but that's, that's like ballistic oh, stuff yeah. right there. What I really want to grab is actually a can of this Flex Seal because this would actually come in handy if we have like a leak or something, just spray yeah, it right dude. over it. That dude right there, he builds like boats and stuff out of this stuff might it's have to crazy. try it dude <laughs> but dude all sorts of gadgets body cam it's called a cop cam that's crazy uh, dude look at the little ipad stand all this crazy stuff <laughs> this is some oh dang might have to get that for thomas here. what interactive Dang. cat toy dude he thomas would love that oh dude. yeah dude might have to cop it look at this a dog brush or hand a, brush a glove brush dude. let's test that out right there <laughs> let's do it let's grab it All right, so we are back from the store and we went ahead and unboxed our cabinet right here and we turned it into a nice little nightstand or coffee table. And as you can tell, this piece of countertop actually goes all the way out to the wall. And we may leave it like that. It gives us a little bit more surface area or we may trim it. What do you think? Because like, man, I think it's pretty cool area. because you can like throw your dirty shoes or whatnot or umbrellas, whatever you want in yeah, there. But we're definitely going to stain that the same color as this just so everything matches. But as for the as seen on TV stuff, you got to see what we man, got. That's here. the most important stuff right now. Of course, we had to get the five finger de shedding glove right here, dude. <laughs> we're we're going to try that right there on uh, Max for uh, sure. Dude, Max definitely needs that right there. Hey. Pet the hair away. Hey, that's it's, pretty cool, man. Awesome. You pet your dog while brushing it. Dude, that's a genius invention. But this is probably even better. We got some mighty sight right here. You see bigger, brighter, and clearer. <laughs> pretty much night vision goggles right here for 20, 1995. Hey, we're going to need those when we were driving this thing down the road at night. We cut the lights off, bro. Dude, you just cut them suckers on. We you need can another see. pair. Look, and they even fit over prescription glasses, dude. <laughs> that's sick right there. Definitely had to get the Flex Seal. I mean, you guys seen what that guy does right here. I don't. I forget his name. That, Phil Swift right that there, That dude man. made a boat with that stuff or something then, like that. to top it all off, they made some flex tape right here. If you got a leak on your roof, you're definitely patching that with this. And also, we got some pencils. And the cool thing, these are not just any ordinary pencils. It comes with a drill bit attachment pencil sharpener. Imagine how fast you can drill the whole pencil down. We're going to have to man. test that. Definitely gonna have to test it out. And also, this is something really cool. We just had to have this a right angle adapter. You know, this is in for like tight spaces and tight spaces. Oh, yeah, we really needed it whenever we're installing these cabinets and trying to screw stuff into the wall. Yeah, and also, we got a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff. You know, we got some locks for the generator, got some uh, magnetic things that hold the cabinets or the doors shut and all that good stuff. But, anyways, the next thing that we're gonna do is actually bring in our tabletop, go ahead, do the measurements, and cut it to spec. That way, we can actually stain all this stuff all at once.
that's a perfect size right there, dude. Man, that thing shaved it down like two seconds. Imagine having this in your backpack while you're in school, man. Dude, you would have been the coolest kid on the block. You'd be shopping everybody's pencils. <laughs> So now that we got those countertop pieces coated, we're gonna give them about 30 minutes for it to fully soak in and also penetrate like you're supposed to do it, and then we'll wipe it off and give it another coat. But in the meantime, we're actually gonna go ahead and unhook this sink. That way we could pop this countertop off because it is not glued in yet. It's just sitting on there loosely. We got some liquid nail here and we got our electric gun, dude, and I think this should hold it right into place. But we can start driving this thing around and stuff don't go flying around in here. So let's go ahead, pop it off and get it glued in. So we got this countertop glued in. It's gonna be a roughly around four to six hours before it's completely cured. Then we did the second coat on the other countertops. In the meantime, we're actually gonna move on to this accumulator tank and try to install it and hopefully fix our pulsing issue. Check this out guys, we finally got that accumulator tank installed right there and it was a pretty dang simple install. And also we did have to charge it with air which is pretty crazy. I really don't know how it works but we put 60 PSI in there and check this sucker out right here. It is smooth sailing, listen to this. It don't even kick on until later. Tons of smooth pressure. It is pretty loud, that pump is pretty loud. A lot of you guys actually did recommend setting it on the outside. But you know what, we can live with this. So we're just gonna go ahead and leave that alone. We're actually gonna bring in our other pieces of countertop and get those suckers installed. All right, so we're getting ready to install those new countertop pieces, but before we do so, we did trim up a few things. That way everything fits nicely. And we also unscrewed this because we're thinking about actually doing two posts because we bought an extra one. That way it's a lot sturdier. But then again, we're thinking about it and we're probably gonna lose a lot of leg room, right? Exactly, yeah. That's what I was thinking, because it's already kind of tight yeah, in there. Yeah, because like I'm sitting right now, you know, that's one post right here. And if we do two, my knees will probably be hitting it. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly, yeah, you just bust the knees so up. You came up with the idea of what? Somebody actually sent a picture to the email or something like that and there's like a notch that you could build right here and the table will slide in there and it'll be nice and stout and sturdy dude dude and we can even have one of those little you know how we bought those extra metal latches i was thinking that the exact we same thing latch it in so we can actually build it out of this stuff right here if we have enough you know exactly man there's tons of possibilities here and i think one post will be the best way to go so let's just i guess let's, let's go ahead and screw this sucker back in and then we're going to bring in that countertop and see how well it fits right here Dang, 
mean, that looks way better right there, dude. Let's see how... Oh, dude, that thing is nice and sturdy. You know how that old board was flexing a lot? We were thinking about doing a support, dude. I don't think we'd need one dude, on this we thing. we definitely won't need a support on this. And also, you might have noticed that we did lower these little pieces of wood right here because this is a thicker piece. And it's sitting nice and flush, dude. Next thing to do is actually throw this sucker in table form. Let's do it. Yeah, let's, we, got the, we got the rod right there and the other piece. Let's screw it together. Let's do it. All right, so we are finally done with our table here and it is nice and stout, way stronger than our other table. And it looks absolutely amazing the way that everything flows here. And the next thing that we're gonna move on to is our last piece of countertop, our coffee table area. And the way that we're gonna cut this sucker is actually gonna be flush with this wall here and just right along that edge. And I think it's gonna look perfect. And the way that we actually got everything set up is perfect as well. This futon is right in between these windows right here. And it gives us plenty of space to walk right in here and sit into our seating area. So I think that's a perfect setup. And, but before we actually get to cutting, we're gonna move on to our mighty sight, 160% magnification eyeballs right here. Man, this is like <laughs> forehead headlights right there. Yeah, you that's ask me. <laughs> four foot, that's exactly what this is right here. That's what they should have called it, but it is getting a little dark on us, so I think it's perfect. Let's crack these suckers open and put them to use. So we went ahead and screwed down that cabinet and we glued down this countertop. This thing ain't going anywhere. I mean, check this thing out, man. It actually turned out way better than I expected. It's an armrest and you can have a cup of coffee or your computer, whatever you want on here. But as for this couch or futon, I may say, this thing is actually bolted down, not going anywhere, man. We're almost ready to hit the road, man. Dude, super. I'm wondering how it's going to do off-road. We're going to have Off-road is going to be an ultimate test, man. I'm sure there's going to be a few things that are going to be bouncing around. We may have to screw a few things down, a few screws here and there, but we're definitely going to put this thing to the test as for test man i gotta say these things did not pass my test i don't even know what the sharks would say about these things man they're pretty nice but they're way too zoomed in for me man <laughs> hey they made it to the home depot so somebody invested you know hey, I, mean? I get I, I think pops will really enjoy these yeah, right those, here those are pops pop glasses pop, pop glasses eyes. right there pop eyes pop eyes pop eyes <laughs> <laughs> but anyways it did get kind of late on us so we're going to continue in the morning Next day here guys, and these countertops are nice and dry. They are solid, they are not going anywhere, as well as this kitchen countertop. And we are almost ready to go for our very first test drive after we built this living area, which is gonna be pretty crazy because you're planning on sitting in here while I'm driving, right? Yes sir, and I'm thinking we may have to grab some walkie talkies or something. Uh, we, we definitely do because whenever I'm taking a turn and if these cabinets go Dude. flying out, man, you might need to radio me in so I can slow down or something like that. But anyways, we're probably gonna go ahead and install these magnetic door catches before we actually hit the road because some of these don't have anything at all because the ones that we were using on here just did not fit and I'm probably gonna go ahead and double up on some of these that way none of these go flying open just the extra precaution so let's go ahead and throw these on and then we'll go for our test drive
Smokey's talkies are talking money. Look how much they are. Dang, I wonder why they're so expensive. 130 bucks, dude. I wonder if, which ones are better right but, here. But the guy said that those are pretty dang nice. So I think they use these in the store too, the Dewalt's. Exactly. So we're gonna go ahead and cop that pair right there. Hey, I've I've always wanted to use those on construction sites, but they kind of went out of style, to be honest with you. Just get on your phone, but we need this for our truck. For what we do, yeah. man, definitely need that. But I noticed that I don't think they have the As Seen on TV aisle here, do they? You might have to look for that aisle, see what they got here. All right, so apparently this store does not have the As Seen on TV aisle. But anyways, let's just go ahead and head back to the house. Alrighty folks, so this is it. He's got the ladder going up right now and I'm in the back. We're locked up. We are ready to hit the road. Go ahead and grab the walkie-talkie, man. Great investment. 10-4, I'm ready to go. Are you ready to go? Yeah, we're good. Alright, treat me right. Don't go crazy. But you know what? We, we ain't even started yet. All right, I had to sit down. It is that transmission is a little bit rough, which is normal. So I just sat down for a little bit. But keep it moving. Let's hit some high speeds, man. I don't know what he said, but hope he sends it a little bit harder than this. Everything good. Everything smooth. Everything is uh, intact. We're probably gonna go ahead and make our first stop at the gas station. Probably put some fuel in it while we're at it. So far, everything is smooth. Stand up for you. Oh, crazy. Oh, look at this. First door opened up. That magnet was kind of weak, so this is just a good shake test. You know, we got to go through everything, make sure we uh, fix this because once we do go for longer trips, we don't want, of course, we're not going to ride with somebody in here, but we don't want stuff lying around. So we're going to keep going for a little bit more and do a few more checks. All right, so it's getting a little bumpy in here, but I mean, everything is still intact. Yeah, let's pull in and get some fuel right quick. What's it like in here? I mean, I mean, it's pretty dang smooth. The only thing that we had an issue with was this cabinet right here, it opened up magnet is kind of weak you know what i mean we just double up on magnets for sure but as of right now you want to put some more fuel in it let's do it man we're on it all right so we are off for round two we're going to keep on driving just double check everything i did tape up that cabinet there because that's the only problem we had i did crack open the window as well because it is a little hot in here, so I cracked it open. It cracks open about halfway, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna keep going. We're actually gonna go to an awesome battlefield. Uh, that's that old battlefield. It's called the Chickamauga Battlefield. So we're gonna go check it out and see what it's about. Brakes, these brakes are a little bit tricky, so they bounce around. I mean, air brakes, of course. I don't know how to do that. Me, me neither. Let's just keep it here. So something weird just happened. Somebody was like interfering. I guess we're all, all on the same channel or something, but we definitely got to figure out like a different how to switch the channel. We need to figure out how to use this sucker. But anyways, we're gonna head back home, and we will catch you guys there. Four, I copy that. Ooh, we 
Gee, how was it like in there, dude? dude? Super smooth. I literally could have slept on that bench, but I would not recommend it, of course. But how was it like driving? Dude, there, I really did not feel no difference at all in the truck. It just drove like original. Really? That yeah. is awesome, man. That was a fun test right there. A good shake test. Didn't have no issues other than that one, one drawer. Yeah, one drawer. We'll probably double magnet that thing up. Or throw some flex seal tape on it and shut it for good, huh? Easily, dude. We got everything in there to do anything. But, dude, we are getting super close to the finished product, and we can't wait to take this sucker camping, oh, dude. Oh, dude, that's going to be awesome. So that is going to be all for today's video. We were supposed to go to the battlefield, but unfortunately, they did shut it down. But anyways, we're super happy to have this sucker back on the road, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as well. But with all that being said, make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And if if you want to inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram at Goon Squad. And if you want to help support your boys, we just got some brand new t-shirts on the website. These suckers are very limited, so be sure to visit GoonSquad.com and cop you one. So thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.